Okay, so now that we have created a way for people to sign up to our email list, uh, be it with a registration form on your website or with a landing page, what we want to do next is we want to um, create an automated email that will be sent out immediately when somebody actually subscribes to our email list. So whenever, whenever somebody types in their name and email, clicks on the button, confirms their subscription in the confirmation email, then we want to trigger an automation that will be automatically sent uh, them a welcome series or just a welcome email. That's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So we click on messages on the top left and then we go to campaigns. And then we start a new campaign by going to the top right, clicking on campaign, create a campaign. And here you can either choose from a, from a template, an automation template that they already give you for a welcome series, a lead magnet series. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, I want to kind of take you through the entire process of how to set up an automation. So we're going to do everything from scratch. So I'm going to click on create a blank campaign and then we have to give it a name. I'm just going to name it welcome series um, for people interested in YouTube. So I'm going to name it YouTube as well because that's really what I geared my landing page towards. I'm going to name it like this. And then they ask us what will trigger this email? What will trigger this email automation? So either it's when somebody gets to your list, which is this one right here, um, or when a specific tag is applied. So uh, eventually what you can do is you can send out emails and depending on the behavior of your subscribers, you can apply tags to them. And then maybe when somebody clicks on a specific link to a specific product, maybe you want to give them a tag and then and, and then fire or, or trigger a new email um, automation. Um, so this is what you can do as well. But for the welcome series, uh, this one works good um, with this um, start a campaign when someone is added to your list. So we're gonna choose this one right here. And here is where you can build out your email automation. So this is the canvas right there. And the first block here, block number one, is the trigger. So now it triggers when we get new subscribers on our email list. What we can do now, for example, is we can drag in a tag. So the first thing, what happens when somebody is inside of the welcome um, of the welcome email series, is um, we give them a tag called welcome um, welcome series, so that I know I can filter my contacts with this tag, and I know everybody that is inside of that welcome series, and I don't disturb them as long as they don't get out of this welcome series. And then at the end, I'm going to remove this tag again. So now they get a tag, which is the second block. And um, what I want to do now is send them an email. So I'm going to drag an email in to the bottom here. And, and this will be my first email to them. So my welcome email. So what we can do here is either create a message right here, so, or we can choose a message. As we don't have created any messages yet, we're gonna click on create a message. Um, or actually, we could ch choose a message from the templates. So you could either build one from scratch from here, or you can click choose message. And they already give you a couple of templates. And in this um, situation right now, when it's a welcome email, where I give away a lead magnet, um, maybe we find something that fits well. So let's check out your freebie is inside. That looks pretty good. So they already kind of pre-write the email for you so you can maybe take this as a template and then change it to whatever you want it to look like. So I want to click on select right here. Let's, let's choose this one. And then um, let's change it by clicking on this email title. And that will take us inside of our email editor. And the same way with our, the same kind of like our landing page, we can just drag in different elements from the left side. So we can drag in an image right here, we can drag in a signature, logo, whatever. But we're gonna keep it simple right here and just adjust whatever is already in here. I'm actually also, I'm not gonna put in my logo right here, I kinda wanna make it look like a genuine email just with text. So um, I'm just gonna delete this right here. And don't worry when, it's, uh, when you see those drop element here boxes on the top, they won't be visible when um, when you finish your email and you don't have anything in here. So if you click on preview, um, you see that it starts here where the text starts. Um, and what you see here is actually a personalization option. So this one 
will uh, say hi Simon or hi Mark, whatever, whatever people type in the name field in your registration form. And you can, you, you can do this by um, going to the personalize option here, subscribers info, and then click full name, and then it inserts the name right here. And in this case here, it will be the first name, but I believe we ask for the entire name. So I'm just gonna change this to subscribers info, full name. You can go through this email and see if everything kind of works for you. Let's say as from us here is your YouTube SEO checklist. So this is this is actually exactly what I'm giving away because that's kind of the name of my landing page. And I'm just gonna wanna change a couple of these characters. And then um, what I usually do is I upload my lead magnet to a Dropbox or a Google Drive folder. And then I change this um, text here to a link to that Dropbox folder. So I highlight it, go to this link icon on the top, and then I just um, put the link here to uh, my Dropbox folder. So just type in whatever the folder is. Um, make sure the link is correct so that they actually get what they requested. And then um, obviously everything that's kind of bold and, and italic right here, you wanna change. So here, um, okay, so you could also just change the entire text right here you get um, how it works. And what's also cool is this link right here actually goes to a instruction how they can um, whitelist your email address, which helps your emails getting in the actual inbox. So when you check out what they have put here in this link, let's go to preview, click on this link right here, and then it opens up a page from Aweber where they see how they can put your email address, your email contact, in the contacts and that will help um, your future emails go to their actual inbox, which is what you want because you want your subscribers to see your emails. So you can leave that in if you want to, or you can just take it out. And um, here you can also insert an image. So let's say we wanna put in an image, go click on it, go to upload image on the right side. Let's just take an image of me right here. And then obviously change the name as well. So let's say Simon. And um, here we can say Maddox Media. So this is how you craft your email. And then once it's done, what you can do is click on preview and test on the top right. And then what I usually do is I type in one of my email addresses right here, and then I click send test message. And then you see exactly what this email looks like inside of your email provider. So in Gmail, for example, you, and I usually just do this and check if there are any mistakes or if it actually um, gets to the inbox. And if it lands in the spam folder or something, I just check if I have any trigger words in there like free or offer or something which trigger the, the spam alert for different providers. And that's what you really wanna avoid. Um, so let's get back to the editor. And also here on the top, your freebie is inside. Um, this would be the subject line. So this is what people will see in the inbox. I just usually put like something like welcome. Um, here's, here's your checklist or your YouTube checklist, which is the lead magnet. And I don't put something like free checklist because again, that will trigger the spam uh, kind of algorithm for Gmail and those other providers. And then the email goes into spam. And that's what we wanna avoid and then click save and exit on the bottom right. And now we have created the email that will be automatically sent out once somebody goes to our list. What I can do now is kind of build this out to an entire email series. So let's say after this first email, we wanna have a wait of two days. So I'm gonna drag in a wait block right here and I'm gonna adjust this one to, to two days. And after those two days, I wanna send them another email. So I'm gonna drag in another message right here and create the message and then maybe tell a bit more about the story of the business or give some more tips. And eventually, um, maybe in the fifth or sixth email, I promote uh, something to them like a product that I'm offering. Um, so you can automate the entire kind of um, business journey or the entire kind of sales process within this email automation. You can also like offer a course so you can each day send them um, a part of your course here. You can pretty much build whatever you want. And what I usually do at the end of uh, a welcome series is I go and drag in the apply tag again 
and then I click, I type in remove these tags from subscribers and then I remove the tag that I've given them in the beginning. So I'm going to remove the welcome uh, series tag because now they are not in the welcome series anymore. So now when you're done building your automation sequence right here, just go to the bottom right, click save and exit and then it will put that welcome series inside of your campaign list. And then you can click on uh, the draft right here and click on activate campaign and now it's active and whenever somebody signs up to our email list this campaign will be automatically triggered.